Hey guys, Jared Screenmaker here, Magnetic Men's Club. Hope everyone's doing well. In today's video, I wanna talk about probably one of the worst phrases men hear and they lose their shit. When a woman says, I need space. A lot of times when a woman says, I need space, we think in our minds, she's trying to work up the courage to dump our ass or she's trying to make a pending breakup a little bit less for both of you. But most of the time that's just not true. We think that our thoughts go that way and we tend to freak out. We tend to maybe over pursue her a little bit more. We tend to start saying, okay, I'll give you space. How much time do you need? And we start pressuring in a different way. Men are fixers by nature. We like to try to take a problem even if it's a subjective problem like I need space and we correlate it so if something's wrong, how can we fix this? Most of the time, there's really nothing wrong. She's just saying, I need some space. In womanese, when they say I need space, she might be trying to articulate that maybe you're being too available or you're being too needy, you're being too pushy. You're always trying to see her and although that's cute in the beginning, and that um, shows her that you're really into her in the beginning. As you move that relationship further, it kind of shows to her that you're basing your emotional center on her. All of your emotional needs need to be met through her. Could also mean you don't have a lot of hobbies, you're not on your path and purpose, you're not doing the things you used to do that actually made her like you in the first place. You gotta look back, you gotta step back from the relationship and see what you've been doing wrong or see what areas of your life that you can improve. And a lot of the times is you're just too available. You're always relationship focused. And that's a good thing, but it's also a double-edged sword. If you're always trying to focus on her needs, what she wants, what you guys can always do together, you forget that you're both individuals. You're, you forget that at some point, you didn't even know each other. You had your life, she had her life. She had her friends, she had her family, she had hobbies, she had goals, she has ambitions, and you have the same thing. But sometimes when we get in a relationship, we forget that and we have this mold that we always feel we have to stick to. We're together forever, 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 fucking forever. Another reason is, again, she could be planning her exit. She could be maybe talking to an ex. She could be um, thinking or, or having conversations with other guys that she is a little bit drawn to. And by her saying, I need some space, she is trying to exercise those options. Certainly possible, certainly something for you to think about, but again, it's out of your control. You can't do anything about it. Another one is she's just testing you. A lot of the times she wants to attest your emotional frame. She wants to say, okay, if I ask this guy for space, how is he going to react? Is he going to get emotional? Is he going to get combative? Is he going to get um, threatening? You know, is he going to be threatening me? Is he going to be uh, basically a little bitch? Is he going to stay on the center he's been in? Is he going to be a guy who says, okay, cool, take all the time you need. I got some things that I want to do as well and just give her the space. If it is a test, and you did pass it in her eyes, meaning she felt safe when she said that, and you didn't blow up at her, you didn't get emotional, you didn't get combative, in a day or two, however long it is, she's gonna come back and be that much more drawn to you because she's safe in your presence knowing that good news, bad news, you're pretty much centered. Another one is she's just unsure of the relationship. This happens a lot when a relationship comes in so fast, where you go on the first date and all of a sudden you guys are together every single time. It happens a lot when they're younger. When my daughter's pretty young, she was dating a guy and they were always together. And I told her, I said, Madison, you guys can't keep this level of togetherness up. You guys have 
separate qualities. You have separate things that you guys should be doing. You're abandoning some of your friends for this guy. And likewise, he was doing the same thing. And over time, that sort of builds resentment for the other person. Because we think we should be doing all of these things. We should be only focusing on this person. And then for whatever reason, in the back of my mind, we get resentful for not wanting to have our space. We get resentful for not doing, maybe hanging out with the guys. And our thought is, I can't, I gotta go see my girlfriend. Attraction grows in space. Space is so important for both parties, but especially for women. They are, I'm not gonna say they're always the emotional creatures because men are very emotional as well, but they need time to process their feelings. And if you're always together, if you're always trying to include her, if you're always trying to do a we and us and them, she could be starting to become unsure of the relationship. It's too much too fast. And so when she says this and she says, oh, I, I just need some space, that in womanese is just saying, I need some time to process this. I need some time to think about us, our relationship, our future. What do I want? Another one is, it might not have anything to do with you. She could be stressed out at work. She could be stressed if she has kids, maybe a family issue, maybe an illness another friend has that she wants to be there for that person. And <clears throat> by us continually trying to always see her, to always be together, she might just say, I, I need some space. I need some time alone. So what do you do on all of these all of these situations, all of these reasons? And there's a lot more. The best thing you can do is give her her space. So when a woman says, Jared, I just need some space. I need some time to think. I need some time to you know, gather my thoughts, spend some time with my friends and families. The best response for you is, okay, don't argue. Don't ask how much space do you need, how much time, and certainly don't text her in a day or two and says, have you had enough space? Leave them alone. If the relationship is solid enough, if she does care for you, she does love you, and it has nothing to do with another guy, she'll come back around and she's gonna love you that much more for honoring her requests of space. Likewise, besides just saying okay and giving her the space, what are some things that you can do to maybe individualize yourself? Because when you're together, you're together, but you still are an individual and she's still an individual. That's what the purpose of space is. They want to get back to that baseline, who they are. You should be finding new hobbies unless you stopped your old hobbies. Pick up some new activities without her. Hang out with your friends and family. Go back to the gym. Maybe work a little bit more um, on your business or your job. Put in some more hours. See this as an opportunity for growth on both sides. Because again, if she's asking for space, there's nothing you can do. The best move on the chessboard is to give her that space. So see it as an opportunity for growth. You should be thinking about the relationship. You should be thinking, okay, I'm giving her space. I'm doing the things I want to do. She's doing the things she wants to do. You're going to be wondering about her. You're going to be thinking, what's she doing? And she's going to be doing the exact same thing. And that's where the attraction starts growing. It's that buildup. It's that, man, he, he's really giving me space. He's not blowing me up, he's not talking to me, he's not asking me how much more time do you need, he's honoring my request. Think how sexy that is, think how empowering that is when you are able to freely just give somebody that request of space. That's where attraction starts coming back. When she starts wondering about you enough and starts missing you enough, she'll contact you. Some of the takeaways here, if you're always together, She's gonna start knowing about you. She's gonna start knowing about the annoying little habits you have. She's gonna start um, just, you guys are so programmed together that it's becoming stale. It's becoming a little bit 
of that routine of up, he wakes up at eight, he comes home this, it gets boring. And we don't want boring in a relationship. The one thing you can't do in a relationship is bore a woman. That's the only, you can do a lot of stuff, but you can't bore her. And so women are much better at recalibrating relationships by this word, I need space. She's just trying to recalibrate the relationship. She's trying to reset it. So understanding that attraction grows in space and understanding that she will wonder about you if you honor her request and not blow her up and not act needy and not act desperate and not go do something stupid like bang her best friend, giving her the space gives her that freedom to come and go. And likewise, it's the same with you. You want the freedom to come into a relationship and exit a relationship. You don't want to be forced to stay in any relationship. That could be a friendship, it could be you know, a, a marriage, it could be any of that. You don't want to feel forced. You want it to be light, you want it to be free. If she's planning her exit, then that's a good thing. She wasn't the person for you. Again, 90% of the time, guys, that's just not the case. It's just not. She's trying to recalibrate the relationship. I hope this video helps. If you're looking for more content like this or you're in a struggle of trying to win your girlfriend back or what she if she just did this to you and maybe you went the wrong way, you got emotional, you got um, agitated about this and now she's asking for a full-blown breakup. If you need help understanding this and maybe recalibrating yourself. Go down below the link to Magnetic Men's Club, our, our website's down below. Click on the contact us and fill out your basic information and let's schedule a free discovery call to see if we can work together. My name is Jared Schoomaker, this is Magnetic Men's Club. If you like this video, please hit like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you'll know when new videos are dropped. With that, have a good day.